Tom Emmanuel. don't have the superlatives to describe this human being on a guitar but just listening to the intro I was hearing a you know that was a harpsichord to me you know that little sort of mini arpeggio is just beautiful and he almost burst into song there which is so cool Stick with me till the end, guys. Let's not disrupt this beautiful performance.
first of all, which Martin is that a Martin Gaz? Which one is it? A D? Let me know guitars because he plays it like it was made for him. Maybe hits line, I don't know. When you listen to someone who's so attuned to the music, someone who's so in line with what it is they want to give you, then you can just get pulled away to where the song comes from. In this case, it's from The Wizard of Oz. And I did a little bit of googly on it. I hadn't heard it before, but just to find out about why he did this. And it, it appears that he's been doing this since the 70s. And there's a section in there, just after the first, when it bridges the next, the next tempo, you get that bit of country feel, which is Chet Atkins, which is where this evolved from. So you get a little bit of, still a little bit of homage to Chet Atkins in there, um, in, in many different ways, but clearly that had that distinct, that sort of country chord feel, you know? Then he takes it off in other directions to make it his own. It's always his own. But you just listen, and then I was thinking about, you know, Ava Cassidy, God rest her soul. And I was thinking, oh, imagine seeing them two on stage with, you know, maybe him playing, she singing, or them both playing this together. And when a song can do that, then I was thinking of the movie about how the song's about there is no place like home. You know, you wish you want to be in another place, but the place where you belong and the place where you're probably going to be the most happy is home. Not always. Yeah, but that was the whole thing, the wizardry. You know, being transported to another realm only to find out that the wizard was stuck there in this make-believe place. And it's just, it gives you all of that. You know, and The Wizard was, when I was growing up, was a classic Christmas film. On every Christmas, probably will be on this Christmas as well. And every year, every a year, new generation gets introduced to it. But this is just such a beautiful composition of his own that still leaves you in no doubt it's... The Wizard of Oz, and no doubt you can see Judy Garland, no doubt you can hear Ava Cassidy, no doubt you know it's Tommy Emmanuel, all from one one instrument, and he's almost singing to himself. You hear the way he sings little bits? I think that's just because he's so happy that he's involved in this song, that this is his sort of spin on that song, but it's such a complete devotion to the song, but in his own style that he kind of wants to sing it. And that's just the enthusiasm. And he's been doing it since the 70s and he still isn't tired. Loved it. Tommy Emmanuel fans, this one's just, you know how good he is. If you like it, click like. If you want to join in, join in, guys. That's all I ask. Till next time, see you then.